Hey guys, John with Mini Motors USA. Today we're going to go through eye throttle functionality. We think these are the best throttles in the business. They offer tons of adjustability, a bunch of settings that you can change your scooter around to how you like it. Um, so right now we're looking at the main display of the throttle. Um, tapping the mode button will toggle between your lapse time, your trip odometer, your odometer, your charge cycles, and then back to your voltage. You'll know you're in voltage mode because it says BOL right next to it. Next to the speedometer, you're going to see a one, two, or three. That's your speed step. It's pretty easy to change on the fly with tapping the dot. One's going to be your low speed, two is going to be your mid speed, and three is going to be your max speed. Now to access the programming settings, we're going to hold the mode button down. P0 through P3 are going to say fixed in the manual. And what they do is P0 is going to be your tire diameter. So changing this figure will impact your speed readout. You want that set per the manual. P1, that's your voltage of your battery. It needs to be set to your battery voltage. In this case, we're at a 60 volt battery on an Eagle Pro. That's going to impact your battery percentage readout gauge. P2, that's your motor pull pair settings. It has to be set for the manual. This will impact your speed on an Eagle Pro. It needs to be set to 15. P3, that's your speed sensor. In the case of all the Dualtrons, the speed sensor is in the controller. It needs to be set to zero to read speed. P4, that changes between miles per hour and kilometers per hour. P5 is your start method. If you push it to one, you'll see PAS up appears and you'll have to kick it to start. P6, that's cruise control. If you turn cruise control on and you hold the throttle at about three quarter to full throttle, depending on your speed and hold it there for a few seconds, you'll be in cruise control mode. You can get rid of cruise control by applying the throttle again or applying the brake. P7, that's your start method. For fastest start, you want that set to zero. Slowest start, you set it to five. P8, that's your percentage of max speed. So if you want it less than the top speed of the scooter, not affecting your acceleration, you can set that down. P9, that's your battery save feature. You can think of this as the torque of the scooter. Three would be max, or sorry, three would be no save, and you'd get the most performance out of that. One would be max battery save, and you'd get the least performance and have the best battery range. PA, that's your electronic brake setting. Zero would be off. Five would be the most powerful. PB, that's your brightness. Set from zero to five would be the brightest on the display. PC, that's your auto time off. So with no activity, right now the scooter will shut down after five minutes. PB, that's your ABS setting. If you put it on one, you're going to turn on your ABS. Zero would be off. Hope that helps.